Welcome back to Carpentry and Me. In today's episode, I start the demo for the windows. So what we're going to do is build a conservatory. I won't look too far down there because I've actually already started the framing, but the episode you're going to see is demo and a bit of a box corner with some repairs. So yeah, thanks for watching and keep watching. There's carpentry coming. There is carpentry coming. Obviously I sold the Haikoki saber saw, so I had to go in through the shed and find my old corded one. Now last time I used this, it wasn't working, it was, um, I can't remember what, and I know, I think we we're cutting out French doors. Um, it's not working, but Dad reckons he fixed it. So, I'll give it a go. I couldn't find any decent saber saw blades or any new ones. And I don't even know, ah, oh, there it is. But it works. Maybe I didn't turn the switch on. Well, that ruined today's plan. I um, guess I'll pack that up and do something else. But you'll see me with a new saber saw. Do you mind that in the next one? I recently have tried to get rid of that clear light with an old batch, uh, batch without, with an old Ryobi saber saw that I got. I think I got it when I was a first year apprentice. I thought I'd got it going again or I thought my dad got it going again and as you can see she died. Bosch one. Um, I got that Bosch drilling battery sent to test. It's better. The reason I went with this and not the Makita one is because when I went to buy the Makita one at Bunnings they didn't have any brushless ones. So Neither did the Bosch stand either, actually. Um, so yeah, I have the free battery, and I thought, why not use it? Now, I've been using it quite a bit at work, not a whole lot, but I don't know if you can tell. That's only used one bar out of the five, and I've only charged it once. So we'll see how much this drains it. I don't even know if this works. This will be the first time using it. It is weird looking. There we go. It looks like it works. First thing I liked about this a little bit of tool tool is that's the changing bit. So that's a good feature. I think that might be the first time I've seen that. It's like a jigsaw. It's pretty cool. So anyway, yeah, we're gonna get the clear light gone in the box corner. So I can start putting windows in.
Got all the clear light out and I'm just making up a box corner now. I had to do some repair work down the bottom. None of this is going to be seen, uh, like none of the repair work, because eventually when we've got more money we'll uh, use those wee neuro jacks and then just make a nice wee um, timber porch inside the glazed area. But for now, concrete will do. So getting it all repaired. I stripped the paint back, which was niggly. And then, yeah. Let's hope this uh, box corner works out. I wasn't recording all the repair work just because it was all niggly and I didn't have all the tools. And just not, it wasn't fun. Once this box corner's up, hopefully I'll get some more stuff done. So there we have it, that was the end of the episode, I didn't get back to the light mounts, sort of ran out of time. That box corner took a little longer than what I thought, but now you can see the open space, that's going to be glass, we'll let a lot more light in. That there is the earth cable, so I'll get my brother around and we'll rerun that. Uh, if you noticed I primed all the boards behind where the box corner is, just to preserve it that little bit more. So yeah, corner was primed, and then I'll sort that out maybe sometime in the week if the weather's this good. If not, um, see you when I see you. Thanks for watching, guys.